Welcome back to the channel guys at VHG Technic. As you can tell too many RS4s, S5s, V8s everywhere where you'll have a look. Graveyard of the S4 engines, but mainly in this video we will be putting back together a V8 engine code Charlie Foxtrot Sierra Alpha, so CFSA, a V8 4.2 from Audi RS4. So this engine is from the B8.5 RS4, what was bought as a space repairs by the owner where you've seen and it dropped the valve. So we have everything ready here. Miroslav cleaned up the block, we did clean up everything what's going on the engine. We have all new gaskets here, we have everything for the timing chains, everything for the bottom end and we did manage to get another piston with the conrod uh, where you've seen. So this is a second hand one and it was all cleaned up with the BG product what we've got. So basically all of them are nice and clean so the gaps in the pistons have no carbon inside. And cylinder heads. I don't think this is the welded one. This is the second hand what we bought and the machine shop done everything for us. So the sleeves will be pressed for the iron cast ones. And I think everything is ready to go back on. So we also dropped the crankshaft in the machine shop, so that was checked. There is obviously no damage. Luckily, we will be replacing the conrod bearings, the bigot bearings. And we have a tablet here with all the information was needed for the piston ring gaps and all the Newton meter specs. So we will start with turning the engine around. We have to put the oil jets from underneath and we will be assembling the crank in place. So let's start it. It will be interesting. Oh anyways, I'm also filming a time lapse. So just to show you afterwards how easy it looks like on the time lapse and what it actually takes. So you can compare a uh, one minute time lapse compared to a probably whole day putting it back together. So it's really interesting with these uh, oil jet sprays in the block, there's obviously no gaskets or anything what's holding the pressure between the block and these tubes, but this is how it's designed. So we're just going to put it back in and we will put a bit of a Loctite on the thread and we're going to tie it down. Okay, so all four of them are in place. So we will put the bolts in there with the Loctite on the fret and we will tie them to a Newton meter spec.
Okay, so the spray jet bolts are tied to 9 Newton meters. Okay guys, so the reason why the spray jets are there actually, if you have a look how the piston is going into the combustion chamber, it's lubricating inside the piston through the piston rings the walls of every chamber, so that's why the engine shouldn't seize up. And the last piston rings have small waves, so the oil is equally everywhere where it should be. Okay, so we will continue with the mine bearings and then the whole crank will be assembled. Okay guys, so these are the bearings for the crankshaft and as you can tell they're not genuine these are aftermarket ones from the machine shop we'll be using they are straight fit bit of an interesting thing uh, on the crankshaft this code here or these digits what says uh, uniform uniform bravo gold uniform x-ray is basically thickness of each bearing on the conrod by a color so under U it should be probably yellow, under B maybe it's red, I have to check in the menu, but basically not using the genuine ones. So it doesn't really matter on the thickness that much, uh, because this coat and the colors on the bearings means what's the coating on the bearing, and we are talking about microns. So we don't have to do anything, uh, unless we just have to put it back in. So again, you can see we have two types of shells. Uh, you can't actually mess it up because the lock on the shell will only go in a place where it should be. Also, there's an entrance for the oil feed for the crankshaft and then the oil through the crank goes on the conrod bearings. So as you can tell, um, you can't mess it up.
Okay guys, so we put some assembly loop onto the bearings. You don't have to put too much of course, it's just to protect it for the first sort of turns before the oil pressure will get in there and uh, it will be replaced with oil. So the crankshaft is actually cleaned up, we can put it in place. Okay.
zapnieš, tu sme takto v drážke. Aj tu sme v drážke, takže by to malo byť fajn. Dobre. No. Dobre. Titan Bolts. 30 Newton meters. Všetky. Mhm. Silikónik. Myslíš? Mhm, vidíš, že... Co mi tým jde? Pozor. OK, next. What's the menu say? Uh, Titan bolts 1 to, to 10. 10, 50 Newton meters, mm -hmm. and then it'll. It should be 1. 1 to 10 to 90. And then 11 to 20 to 50 Newton meters, and 11 to 20 to 90. There is a glitch. 50. Mm -hmm.
beautiful. Even better. Be beautiful. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Mm -hmm. Whew. Very nice. Okay guys, so we glued together the engine block with the bottom of the engine block. Of course, everything had assembly loop. We put the truss bearings on there. They have not replaced, they have used ones because there was nothing wrong with it. And we do have a bit of a tight budget, as usual. Uh, we also replaced all these mine bolts. So basically they were tied to the Newton meter spec and they have not lubricated the threads or the surface that they sit. So no oil, no lubrication. They have a tight 30, 50 Newton meters and 90 degrees in the correct order as it says. We will continue now with the front crankshaft seal and then have to put the another plate from the bottom of the engine and uh, then we can put the oil pump on there. Tieto idú kam? Normálne len sem. Tu je jedna dlhá, dve, tri. Dve, tri. Looks like it. Tam šufriky sú, alebo určite u teba v túlbo k tebe je nejaká. OK, guys, so we have new piston ring set over here from Mahle, as you can tell. Uh, I think it's written quite big on the box. It says original equipment quality. Hmm. So they are from Italy, pizza pasta. And right now we are checking the gap. So uh, I already took out, this is the ring number three, which is an oil ring. And we have these two rings, uh, basically. We will fit them in the combustion chamber here and we will have to check the gap uh, between the end of the piston rings which we have written here so the reason why you have to check it because if the gap is too small and by heat it will expand uh, you might end up with the crack piston unfortunately uh, other scenario is if the gap is too big what might happen is that all the gas fumes which will actually stay in the combustion chamber might get in through the rings inside the engine which will be contaminating the oil too much and also it might have lower compressions so either way it have to be in the spec so we have the spec here compression ring number one which is the top ring should be between 0 0.2 to 0 0.35 millimeter uh, Miroslav have a very special tool and uh, he will be measuring the gaps now for us and all of them have to be in a certain spec otherwise we might have a problem and we don't want to have that kind of a problem reason why because we have to take the engine out which we don't want to do so usually when we build an engine it should be forever but uh, in this case we are doing a really really budget repair as you can tell but i don't really see a reason why the oil pump should be replaced because it was not contaminated with any debris so I think it should be fine. But anyways, let's have a look at Miroslav, what he's saying with the piston ring ups. Yeah, we are between, between 30, 
That's the top ring. Yeah. Or the middle. Yeah. Yeah. We are about 30 to 35 range on, okay. both, on both of them. Okay. So that should be in the spec. Yeah, yeah. So the smart menu says anything between 0 020 to 0 35. So if uh, 0 30 will get in the gap, we are cool. Mm -hmm. So at the moment, we will do a bit of a donkey work. All these rings gotta be insert onto the pistons, unfortunately, which will take us a bit of a time. But there's two of us, so I believe 8 um, divided by 2 is 4. So we will try to do each 4 piston rings or 4 pistons. And then we will be putting the pistons with the conrods in there. So that will be fun. Okay guys, so piston rings, very funny job this is, very funny, obviously for idiots like us, they put alphabet there, A, B, C, obviously number A for some reason is the bottom one, it should be the top one, but never mind, but luckily they put a picture there, so that's the oil ring, which looks like, shalala, it looks like this and obviously it should be written on them which one is top and which one isn't but on this one that's nothing on there but we have a deal with Miroslav a non-written contract just a verbal one and we will put them with the writings on the top so I'm gonna take this spring off and I will put that on the first because otherwise it is a bit complicated to put them together because they are cheeky buggers come on and then I'll try to put the ring there himself okay okay so we are putting them from the top uh, there should be a tool if you're installing the piston rings like a pliers but we don't have it because we don't build too many engines and we like to get our na nails done on the end of a month so basically <laughs> if you broke a nail we just gotta get it repaired but it is a very tricky job you gotta be super careful not damaging them and always make sure that is moving freely in the piston because otherwise it might have some damage very soon so that was the first one the oil ring then B, which is the middle one, has some dirt from the factory because Italians know how to do pizza and pasta, but rings are like, you know, not finished product. So you gotta be careful, there's nothing on there. So on the middle ring, it says top. So that means that should be the top. Okay, so we will put the middle one on there, again, careful, careful. Okay. Okay, again, make sure it's moving freely. And once the third one is there, which is C, the top one, which again, don't have anything saying which one is top, but all these numbers will go towards the top. 
so that's the last one again check if it's moving freely so um, these ring gaps should be spread in 120 degrees so they sealing as best as possible uh, it doesn't say in the smart menu in which position they should be however when i was building an engine in slovakia the uh, ea839 3 liter tfsi we did use Vosner pistons forged ones and if you scan the box or go on the Vosner website it says exactly what's the gaps for the spec of the model and also in what position the rings should be on the piston towards the whole engine so you can't get the information but some smart people say it should be by 120 degrees all the time because 360 divided by 3 Okay guys, so we put a bit of a lubrication onto the walls of the combustion chamber. Uh, Miroslav is getting ready piston number one with the conrod, with new bearing of course. And the plan is every single one what we will put in, uh, we will put the bottom cap on, uh, tie them. And soon as all eight of them are in, we will be tightening them down slowly and we're always going to check if it's actually turning. Uh, because if we get to the point that we will tighten and the crankshaft one turn we will have a problem so let's start with number one okay guys so to insert the piston into the block we will need a very special tool to actually hold the piston ring squeezed and they can get through the edge of the block and previously we've been using these cheap tools but unfortunately one of them suffers uh, a very deadly hit by myself and we bought another one because I was desperate to finish one engine and they're not good reason why how it's over gapped in this spot sometimes the ring edge is right on there and as soon as you try to put it on there uh, basically the first oil ring which is really fragile and soft is struggling to get through it so this is just a emergency use only but we have it in case you never know but we bought the kit with different sizes and especially it's uh, one material so there's no over gaps so that means it's copying the uh, piston much better and the rings are squeezed all the way around also pliers so we don't have to actually be turning the allen key with it and stuff uh, you can actually lock it so i think this was a very good investment for a few pounds righty then uh, we will start with number one. Number one? Number one. Number one? Number one. Number one. Oily? Oh, very oily. Uh, okay, we also need to... Did you gap the piston rings in 120 no. degrees? So it should be split to 120 degrees from one to the other always. That's what the smart manual says. bottom okay mr bottom good i'll say like this hmm? mm Ooh, way too much will come up okay I think the eyes and tight mm-hmm 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 mm -hmm. 
ok. Pozor, si sa čítam nie, nie, ten... Cool, so the first piston is in place, so it's gotta be super careful with these tools, whatever you're using, because if the piston ring is basically hanging out from the tool and you're gonna smash it with a hammer with full force, you might end up with a low compression even before you actually put the engine back together. Okay. So we will turn the engine block upside down because that's what we do here, up and down like the roller coaster. Okay. Oi, oi, oi. Start getting heavy, you know. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. Mystical, magical. It, the, it should be aiming to in locks, the arrow. Locks and locks. Locks and locks, so it's so indestructible. You can't fuck up. Okay. Sorry for the language, everybody. <laughs> Where's the hammer? Mm -hmm. So bolts have to be lubricated, frets and a surface. So this should be lubricated, okay. Okay. So should we put number four now? Logical of step. Yeah, we can. Shoop. Okay. Okay.
Problem. Why so much? See, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Chlapci veľmi ambiciózni. A čo máme tento takto? Lebo nie je úplne horné polohe. No ale tam? Šipka. Je tam, nie? Hej, no že 20 kg, vieš koľko bude stať. 65 kg. Vyšlo to auto. Si confused? Nevidel sa nejaké spodobá. Nie je malo vnice, no? No, poď ešte. Môžem si ho tam stačiť ručkou? Môžem si rozrezať ručkou, nemá problém. Chlapci vieme, čujú. Okay guys, so we fit the con rods with the pistons and rings and everything. Uh, the engine is spinning, as you can tell, which is a good sign. Uh, usually when they just tight uh, with the hand or just a bit and uh, the bearings are not the correct ones or the different size, uh, we wouldn't turn the engine anyways. So next step will be, we will tie the bolts down 40 Newton meters and 120 degrees. Uh, every single time we will do the Newton meter spec, we're going to turn the engine just to double check everything. And as you can tell, the surface where the bolt head sits is lubricated, also the fret, as the manual said. And I think it should be all good. So let's continue.
Here go nothing. Tak. Okay guys, so we turn the engine, everything is tied to the Newton meter spec and it is turning, which is a good sign. We will put the separator plate on now and then we can fit the last plate onto the engine block uh, along with the gasket. We have to degrease it, as you can tell it's happening now while you're watching. Absolutely amazing. And yeah, we have to apply a bit of a silicon and I think oil pump is going on and everything was in the sump. Už nie. Malo to také otlačené tam. Tam uvedie potom na mre. Či tu není šroba pod tým. Veru, že áno. Rovno dve brácho. Nie je jedna. Á, to by sa zavyšla. Ok, guys, so the last part of the engine block is on and we are tightening all these uh, M8 bolts to just so it's touched and then 5 Newton meters and 90 degrees. Once they are all tight, they are just tight around. There's not a specific way how to tie them down. Uh, we can put the oil pump in place. We replace this gasket. There's a new gasket where the oil pump sits. 
And I think that's about it. We can put the old sump in there. Aj to doťahuješ. Čo? Aj sa to doťahuje, či je to také, že sa to ide strhnúť. Nie, čo si. Dobre to je. Neviem, či pri tých konrodoch to nebolo. To je rovnaké staré. Devať? Full. Full. Clear minded. OK. Absolutely no. Amazing. Full. You just can't be afraid of the 90 yeah, degrees. Yeah. You gotta pull it. Yeah, yeah. You just stretch it once and that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two days later, oil pressure. <laughs> okay. So, if Miroslav will tie these bolts, uh, I think we can put the oil sump on because during the night, the silicon can actually dry up properly. And tomorrow, we're just gonna try to finish it off. Uh, we have to take the engine from the stand afterwards and basically do the chains on the block with the cover um, I can see some gears what's missing on there and so on and so on quite lots of things actually and once the timing chain cover is on can put the cylinder heads along with the head gaskets and everything I fun continues broke I think we can put the cylinder heads on no yeah no Why? because the gasket is going over the chain cover yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna build the chains first, then the head, head gasket on top flat and then the heads. sump where is oil sump adjuster chain tensioner you'll see okay guys so this is the day after yesterday with Miroslav we managed to do this uh, I know it seems uh, is not too much but trust me it was time consuming especially be checking everything, uh, make sure everything is spinning, turning, fitting as it should be, all the gaps on the piston rings and so on and so on and so on. Um, the time lapse was actually still uh, being turned on, it's just showing you how easy it is and then the real life will strike. 
but uh, yesterday we started about five four in the evening and we went like half past nine in the evening from the workshop so basically two people about five five hours easily so it is time consuming to put it all back together but uh, according to the menu the next step should be uh, all the gears with the timing chain and put the cover from the back which means we have to take it from this engine holder and put it on the trolley wall we have and then we will put the head gaskets with the cylinder heads on so i have to take off the engine from here and put it over there so let's get to it Ne, mám už já prsty. Jo, jo, jo. Dobrá, máš pustit. Jo, dobrý. Krása. Děkovala ti pěkně velmi. A ten s tou šipkou. Ten je, ten je, ten je tajný, ten je tajný. Ne, jo, jo, pozor. Dobrý je. Ne, 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 dobrý. Dobrý, dobrý. Ale hmm. není vidět, víš? Pořád hmm. není vidět, co je na něm jiného. No, není. Ta šipka je jiná. To je kvůli no. kokotismu, že. Okay, so bolt one to five, which is the M8 bolts, uh, 22 newton meters, and the small torque spheres will be probably nine newton meters again, because there's no torque spec to it. So we just have to figure out somehow.
tento napínak. Ok, so these are 5 newton meters and 90 degrees. Okay, so this is 42 Newton meters. Okay. So the next one is 22 Newton meters. Okay. And uh, then we have 17 and 90 degrees. Dobre, takže ďalej ideme 5 Nm, 90 stupňov. Ok, so next up we have 5 Nm a 90 degrees.
<laughs> Zajtra máš veľa roboty. Zalo mi. Nemôže takto ísť.
Okay guys, so we tied the mine camshaft bolt uh, for the camshaft adjusters 60, 80 Newton meters and 90 degrees, all four of them using the special tool to actually pre-tension the chain we will take out the timing tools of now and we will do a few turns if everything is fine, double check it 
if everything will be fine, which I'm hoping it will be, we can put the timing chain covers back on, rocker covers, and I think we can move into the middle of the engine. It's a P17BF. Od rána podrážděný. Okay, so that was the RS4 engine build-up, the bare engine. In the next video, we will continue taking the engine from the back room. We have to put the chassis on the run, drop the subframe. We have to put all the accessories on the engine will be built. So uh, intake manifold with the injectors, exhaust, gearbox, and all the things what needs to be put on. So we probably spent so far something around 11-ish hours building the bear engine where you've seen in the video today. It is a process of checking everything, putting it back together, tightening everything to the Newton meter spec in the correct way. So very time consuming and nothing is going straight forward as you've seen the fret, for example, in the block for one of the bolts for the cylinder head and a few other things would went wrong but uh, generally it wasn't that bad everything fits as it should everything was turning nice and freely so once the engine is in uh, we will have to actually crank it in intervals of 30 seconds then leave the starter motor to cool down and just make sure that the oil went everywhere and everything is lubricated and also we will have to actually drive the car, use the car on the road, double check everything, run the engine in nice and slowly. And of course, uh, we'll have to do unleash one more oil change for the owner before he will collect it. So we still got loads of work to do. And in the next video, we will also discuss uh, how the engine was actually built because by my opinion, it was pretty much budget repair. That means only necessary stuff was replaced, of course, whatever we thought needs replacing the owner sort of agreed to replace so that's a good thing and in the next video we will we can also talk about all the prices how much all the work actually costs and what was labor and material costs on such a job so we're probably gonna see in the next video guys thank you for watching for now and i'll see you in the next one take care